Have you ever heard about the evidence that proves Jesus was crucified by Pontius Pilate? Many people have questioned the accuracy of the Bible over the centuries. However, a piece of stone discovered in the region of ancient Judea stands as evidence confirming one of the most critical events in Christian history. Today we're going to dive into how archaeology and the Bible come together, proving once again that God's Word is true and reliable. First, let's talk about what this stone is. The Pilate Stone was found in 1961 in Caesarea Maritima, a coastal city in Israel. It's a piece of limestone measuring about 82 centimeters high and 65 centimeters wide with an inscription in Latin. What makes this stone so important is that it bears the name of Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor of Judea, and confirms his existence and rule during the time of Jesus. The inscription reads, Tiberium Pontius Pilatus, Praef Ectus Juda Ei. Translated, it says, to the people of Tiberius, Pontius Pilate, Prefect of Judea. Many people doubted the existence of Pontius Pilate, claiming that the Bible was just a collection of stories. But this discovery proves that Pilate was a real person, just as the Bible describes. Pilate is mentioned several times in the Gospels as the one who ultimately sentenced Jesus to be crucified, Matthew 27, 26. This stone not only confirms Pilate's role, but also gives us a direct link to the biblical narrative of Jesus' crucifixion. Now, why is this stone so significant for Christians? It shows that the Bible is not just a religious book, it's also a historical document. The Bible tells us that Jesus was brought before Pilate after being betrayed by Judas and arrested by the Jewish leaders. Pilate, after questioning Jesus and despite finding no guilt in him, bowed to the crowd's demands and handed him over to be crucified, John 19, 15, 16. Before the discovery of this stone, Pilate was considered a shadowy figure, with little evidence outside the Bible confirming his role. This made some people skeptical of the Gospel accounts. However, this discovery leaves no room for doubt that Pilate was a real figure, giving more weight to the crucifixion story as a historical event. The Bible is clear that Jesus' death on the cross was a real event, and the Pilate stone supports this. The Bible says, So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified, Mark 15:15. 15, 15. Jesus' death was a fulfillment of prophecy, as Isaiah foretold in Isaiah 53:5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. But it's not just the Bible that records Jesus' crucifixion under Pontius Pilate. The Jewish historian Flavius Josephus, who lived in the first century, also mentioned Jesus and his crucifixion. In his famous work, Josephus writes, Now there was about this time Jesus, a wise man, if it be lawful to call him a man, for he was a doer of wonderful works. He was the Christ. And when Pilate, at the suggestion of the principal men amongst us, had condemned him to the cross, those that loved him at the first did not forsake him. This quote from Josephus shows that not only did Pilate condemn Jesus to be crucified, but that Jesus was also recognized as a remarkable figure, even by those outside the Christian faith. The Pilate Stone and Josephus' writings together confirm the historicity of Jesus' crucifixion under Pilate, helping to dispel any doubts that these events truly happened. You may wonder, why should this stone matter to me as a believer? The Pilate Stone is important because it shows that we can trust the Bible. In a world where people question the truth and reliability of Scripture, it's crucial to know that archaeological discoveries like this continue to prove that the Bible is historically accurate. In Luke chapter 19, verse 40, Jesus says, If they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. This discovery of the Pilate stone is one example of how, even if people deny the truth, the evidence will still speak for itself. Jesus' crucifixion is not just a story, but a real event, proven by both the Bible and history. At the core of this is the meaning of Jesus' death. The crucifixion wasn't just a historical event, it was the moment when God's plan for salvation came to fruition. 
As John chapter 3 verse 16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Jesus' death on the cross was necessary to bridge the gap between sinful humanity and a holy God. Without the crucifixion, there would be no forgiveness of sins, no hope for eternal life. The fact that the Pilate stone proves Pilate's involvement in the crucifixion strengthens the significance of this act of salvation. It reminds us that our faith is built on historical facts, not just religious belief. The discovery of the Pilate stone gives us yet another reason to believe in the truth of Scripture. It shows us that even if the world tries to deny or question the Bible, the evidence is out there waiting to be found. Jesus was crucified under Pontius Pilate, just as the Bible says. This stone proves it. So the next time someone questions the historical accuracy of the Bible, remember that archaeology supports the Bible's claims. The Word of God is not only spiritually true, but it is also rooted in real historical events that can be verified. As believers, we can stand firm in our faith, knowing that history, prophecy, and archaeology all confirm that Jesus is exactly who the Bible says he is, our Lord and Saviour. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. John chapter 8 verse 32. Let the truth of Jesus' crucifixion, proven by this stone and so much more, set you free today. Let's close with a short prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the truth of your word and the evidence you provide that strengthens our faith. Help us to stand firm in our belief and share this truth with others. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share it with three people who need to hear this truth.